Let's create some wiring. There's a couple ways we can do it. We can do it automatically and we can do it manually. But there's a couple things about wires that I want to show you. What I'd like to do is I'm going to go down now to my power level one floor plan. I'm going to zoom in here and hey, guess what? We have lighting fixtures. I don't want to see those. So I'm going to type VG. I'm going to scroll down till we find lighting fixtures. I'm going to uncheck that. I don't want to see any lighting devices either, so I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this receptacle. I'm going to hit my Tab key, and I'm going to select it. Now what we're going to see is we get these two icons right here. We can either do a chamfered wire or we're going to do an arc style wire. I'm going to click on the arc style. Now I'm going to hit escape a couple times and it's going to wire it in and it's going to home run my last one for me. Now once I get this in, I can kind of bend this up. I can pull this back so I can make it look how I want it to look. Let's try it again. I'm going to come into here, hover, tab, I'm going to click on arc. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. That wound up working okay, but don't get too used to that. I'm going to select this home run. I'm going to home run it off my GFCI. I'm going to hit escape. Wiring is secondary to the circuit. The wire knows what the circuit is. So for example, if I only had one receptacle that I wanted the home run to, I could actually go to systems. I can click wire. I can either do arc, spline, or chamfered. I want to go arc wire. Now what you have to do is you have to zoom in and you have to find the connection point. So I'm going to find that little node on that receptacle. I'm going to pick a point. I'm going to pick a point here. And when I pick my last point, it knows that it's the only thing that's there. So it's going to home run that in for me. So now I can manually wire this. So if I click wire, you just have to make sure you go from your node to about here. Then I'm going to just wire it down to right about there. Now suppose I want to wire off of this to here. I can do that. So I'm going to pick here. I'm going to arc down to here. I'm going to arc up to here, but just make sure you're clicking on your nodes. You can hit escape. So if you don't like the way Revit is automatically wiring them for you, you can go ahead and wire your own. So I'm going to wire this one again. So I'm going to click on the wire drop down. This time I'm going to go spline wire. I'm going to pick this node here. I'm going to kind of spline it down my hallway. I'm going to pick my node right on my light here, right here. It's kind of odd looking, but you see you can spline a wire in. I'm going to wire arc from here to here to here. Then from here to here to here. Then I'm going to wire this one home. I'm going to click wire, pick a point here, pick a point here. It knows I'm not going anywhere else with it, so it's going to home run for me. I'm going to come into this room. I'm going to auto wire this one because it's a lot easier and it's a lot more fun. But sometimes I have to grab my home run and get it under control a little bit. So I'm going to pull that home run back into there so it's not all crazy like. Okay. Tab, wire. I like it. Now I'm going to go up to my ceiling plan level one. And I'm going to just automatically wire all this stuff. We can wire pretty quickly. Not my favorite home run on the batch. That's okay. It's pretty close. So what I can do is I can just delete that. Suppose I want a home run over here. So I'm going to click wire. You still need to find your node. So I'm going to come right to the middle point. I'm going to pick a point here. I'm going to home run it right to there. I'm going to do my room 24, tab, pick, auto wire. I'm going to select this home run and I'm going to come back. Now the tick marks, not a fan. 
But if you select the wire, what you can do is the type. So now you can change what that wire actually is. So if I click the plus or the minus, this will increase or decrease the amount of tick marks that we have on there. If I hit escape, my firm doesn't show tick marks at all. So what I want to do is I want to go to electrical and I want to click the little electrical settings button right here. I want to click on wiring. And for show tick marks, we can do all of this stuff. So if I pan this over and I look at my settings, we can change how our tick marks look or the way I do it as I never show tick marks. So instead of always, I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to say never. I'm going to click OK. No more tick marks. And again, these wires are just secondary to the circuit. I can delete these wires and rewire it anytime I want. And my switch, if I just tab, I can see what's connected to that. Pretty cool. We're getting there.